A new twist tonight in a case that we thought was settled years ago. An appeals court reversed the involuntary manslaughter conviction of a woman whose pit bulls mauled a woman to death. 10 News reporter Allison Ash is live downtown. And Allison, the victim's husband told you that the woman deserves more jail time, not less. Yeah, and he was disappointed to learn about this decision, which came down late on Friday. It says that Carla Cornelio should be resentenced here at the downtown courthouse. It definitely took my life, too. Everything about James Mendoza's life changed after Amaco, his wife of 55 years, was mauled by this pit bull and another after they tore through this fence and into the 75-year-old woman who was in her own backyard. Nothing left of her left leg, her left arm, her right arm was completely chewed up. Imako Mendoza lived through amputations, infections, and the first heart attack, but did not survive the second. I didn't have no Christmas at all for this is the first year. Now, with the tree up for the first time in three years, Mendoza learned Carla Cornelio was getting a second chance. Cornelio is seen here in court alongside her mother, who was also charged with owning the unruly pit bulls, but died awaiting trial. The court ruled Cornelio should not have been convicted of involuntary manslaughter and ordered her to be resentenced. I personally think she should have gotten more than four years. Did she ever show you any sign of remorse, any sort of regret that it ever no, happened? Nothing. Mendoza, who suffers from lung cancer, is afraid Cornelio will get a shorter sentence while he serves a life sentence without the love of his life. It's all gone, you know. I just couldn't believe that I'd be living by myself for the rest of my life. I contacted Cornelio's attorney on the phone. I got a no comment. Then I checked the jail's website, found out that she is actually scheduled to be released from jail on February 7th, which is a lot shorter than the four years that she was originally sentenced to. We're live downtown. Allison Ash, 10 News.